Right, so batteries are about to get super chunky with the next iPhone, and Apple's not only achieving this through a thicker body, but also by adopting a new tech called IDPN. So let's delve into what that means and the battery benefits we're gaining. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so the source of the report is Digitimes. They have an accuracy rating of 61%. So yeah, they're not very credible, but they do tend to have somewhat credible sources within the supply chain. So I wouldn't completely dismiss this report. Anyways, delving into the report, apparently Apple is going to be increasing adoption of IPDs, which are integrated passive devices for their peripheral chips in devices like the iPhone, the iPad, and the MacBook. Now you may be wondering what all of that means, and well, I'm not too sure myself, but the main thing to note is that this technology allows the chips to be slimmer while offering higher performance, and of course, slimmer chips means Apple has more internal space for a bigger battery. Now the report does not specify which iPhone is getting this new tech, but I do have a feeling it's going to debut with the iPhone 13 series, and it's for the following reasons. Number one, it mentions that Apple's approved TSMC's sixth generation process of IPD, and so I'm assuming mass production for this component has already begun, and we know that iPhone 13 production is currently in full swing, and so it does kind of make sense that if TSMC's producing these components already, they include them with the devices they're producing right now, which is the iPhone 13 series. Also, you might remember a few months ago, we got leaks about the iPhone 13 series getting larger batteries as a whole, and these are not minor improvements. These are some pretty massive increases. For example, we have an 18% increase with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and it now has a 4,300 million power battery, which is massive for an iPhone. And well, since we know the iPhone 13 series is going to be marginally thick at 0.17 millimeters, it does give me a feeling that maybe Apple's implemented the IPD tech to give us much larger batteries with the iPhone 13 series. Now, some of you may be wondering why bother with all this IPD stuff just make the iPhone thick and give us a larger battery that way. It's pretty simple, right? Well, yes, Apple can make the iPhone super chunky and give us a massive battery, but you do have to remember that ergonomics also matter because with the new boxier design, they can't make the iPhone too thick because it would be pretty uncomfortable to use. That's why the iPhone 12 series is actually thinner than the iPhone 11 series. And talking about the iPhone 11 series, those were way thicker than the iPhone XS series, and you really could not tell much of a difference in the hand since the design was curved. And so that same thickness with a boxier design, especially on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, is gonna be a pain to hold, and so I can see why Apple wants to maintain the thinness we have right now with the iPhone 12 series, and instead miniaturize the components within the phone. But either way, whatever Apple does, at least we're getting larger batteries with the iPhone 13 series. I am very happy about that because with the iPhone 12 series and the addition of 5G, battery life was pretty mediocre. So yes, I will gladly take larger batteries and I'm hoping this saves the iPhone 13 mini because I know the biggest issue with the iPhone 12 mini is the battery life. And so maybe with the larger battery, but also the efficiency of the A15, which is apparently going to be 15 to 20% more battery efficient, we should get one or so more hours of battery life. And hopefully that makes the iPhone 13 mini's battery life somewhat acceptable. And in case you're wondering about battery life with 120Hz on the Pro models, don't worry, it's not going to be trash because these are LTPO panels, which means they variably refresh between 1 hertz and 120 hertz. And so that means that if you're watching a movie, for example, the display will scale down to 30 hertz and save battery life. I mean, when we got promotion on the iPad Pros, there really was not an effect on the battery life. It was identical to the older 60 hertz models. And so battery life on the iPhone 13 Pro series should still be excellent, given that we're getting larger batteries and the LTPO tech and of course, the software optimization of iOS. 
Anyways, tell me in the comments below, would larger batteries on the iPhone 13 series be enough of a reason for you to upgrade this year? Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above on details regarding the iMac Pro. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.